Gentlemen, she's beautiful, she's hot, but, and I say but, it does not necessarily mean that she is better than you. And this is a trap that I fell into many years ago. I I was so fearful, so intimidate, intimidated, fearful of the idea of approaching good looking women or women that I perceived to be extremely hot. I would pedestalize them, I'd put them on a pedestal. The idea of approaching one was so alien to me. And I genuinely mean it when I say alien, I don't mean it with hyperbole or any sort of exaggeration. When I saw a good looking, I was in the gutter so badly that basically down in the dumps, that if I saw a good looking girl and I saw her take a sip of water or heard her speak English, to me that blew my mind, especially during COVID. It put me in this isolated, isolated situation and it completely alienated me. Don't ever put women on a pedestal. A, there's more women than men on this planet. A, I know that it's, it's almost negligible, but that is a fact. She's beautiful, but so what? And I do want to make this disclaimer, and I do want to make this point. This video is not designed to put women down. I love women with all my heart. I'm not a narcissist. I'm not a misogynist. However, there are some truths that need to be said. And um, the first thing is, is you cannot be intimidated. You cannot be fearful. I have reached a point in my life where I no longer chase women. It's not an arrogance thing. It's it's just I am in a chapter of my life where I have so much going on. But even if I walk down the street and I see a good looking girl, if I have no reason to approach her, I simply don't approach her. If our paths cross, let's say I'm lining up in Starbucks waiting to get a coffee and you know we sort of cross our paths and you know she thinks that I was supposed to go first or I think that she's supposed to go first and there's that awkward interaction and that may lead to a conversation and she might be good looking if she's a nice person I'm open I'm not a closed book in that sense but if she's good looking I'm not going to approach her and say ah oh, I like your style you're so elegant it's I'm not going to say cringe because it's not the worst thing in the world but that pick up artist mentality for me, I don't think I don't think it's conducive, especially as a man that's on self development. You should be someone that's so focused on ascertaining his purpose, so focused on his mission that he shouldn't be out in town scouting and seeing oh, she's so fit. And and this is why I hammer home this point all the time about pornography. And I think pornography is a massive driver of this of of us pedestalizing women when you consume so much pornography and you masturbate all the time. What tends to happen is you view women in a different light. You start to objectify them. You focus on what's between their legs rather than what's between their ears. And this is the point that I've reached in my life. And this is the point that you guys need to reach if you haven't reached this point already. You need to focus on the intellects. You have to focus on the conversation. Turn that neocortex part of your brain on. Put the primitive side. I know it's difficult, especially if she's good looking. But understand that she's human just like me and you. She's beautiful. So well done. Well done. You won the genetic lottery that was completely out of your control. Your, your parents are most likely good looking. And your genetics somehow found their way together and you're very healthy and good looking. Well done. But you did nothing to earn that. This is why as a man, especially if you put points on the board and if you build confidence over time, you have nothing to fear. And that's why I say to men all the time, put women to one side, especially if you're young, put them to one side for a moment because women will always be around. I promise you, they'll be here in 10 years. They'll be here in 20 years. Put them to one side. They're not going away. But you have a limited time frame. You have a finite amount of time to put that focus in, to become the man that you need to become, to become the finished article. That's why, even though I'm not the finished article yet, I know the direction that I'm heading in. So if I interact with a, a good looking woman, I'm not fearful because I understand that she's a human just like me. She's beautiful. And what has she achieved in life? What are her accolades? Does she have business acumen? Is she intelligent? I, I don't know. I need to have a conversation for me to ascertain that. But I don't know. I, I look past the beauty at this point. I'm not saying beauty is not important. Beauty is very important. But beauty gets you through the door. Now I need to say, right, okay. It's almost like it gets you the interview. Okay, thank you for your CV. But, okay, now is the interview. This is the question time. Okay, so do we get along? What's your morals? What's your beliefs? You know, just because you're good looking, but then you might vape. And you don't hit the gym. And you don't eat well when you drink alcohol every night. Those values and beliefs, they don't really align with mine. So, <coughs> apologies, I'm still suffering from this cold. <coughs> but anyway, 
If your values and morals and beliefs don't align, I don't care how good looking you are, you're out the door. Because I know what my worth is. I know what I'm looking for. Whereas the previous version of me, when I was a lot younger, I remember the story of like me at the gym when I was 19. I approached this girl who I thought was drop dead gorgeous, out of my league. I had a proper crush on her. Approached her, heart pumping out of my chest, sweaty palms, light headed. I felt like I was going to faint and pass out, stuttering over my words, couldn't even pronounce my name. And she's there smiling with her beautiful blue eyes. And even though we had a good conversation, it was a bit of an awkward beginning because I, I went in with that pickup mentality of, oh my God, she's so gorgeous. And what happens is you perceive them better than you. She's beautiful. Who cares? Who cares? Because it's basic biology. Those looks will fade. It's not me in a way to put women down. It's just a reality. So you need to look past that. You need to get to a stage as a man where you're putting points on the board. And here's the thing about points on the board, because a lot of you guys will say, the reason why I'm fearful when I speak to women is because I don't have any confidence. And the reason why I don't have any confidence is because I don't believe in myself, because I haven't achieved much in life. That's why I feel as though that she is more worthy of me. This is the issue. And I said this quote two years ago. And the reason why I'm going to look at this screen and read it out, read it out to you is because I don't want to paraphrase. I want to say it word for word so it ingrains into your mind. I said this two years ago and I still stand by this. People will always underestimate what you are now but never let them make you underestimate what you can become. Future you will always be current you. Therefore, anybody's opinion of current you is completely irrelevant, including, and most significantly, your own opinion of current you. So when you say to me that my confidence is low, I don't have self-esteem, I don't believe in myself, listen to what I just said. Your current opinion of you, or anyone else's current opinion of you, is completely redundant. It's irrelevant. It doesn't make any sense because the future version of you, if you continue to be dedicated and you continue to put the work in, the future you is going to outperform you anyway. So who cares what people think of the current version of you? Because you're not going to stagnate. You're always going to progress. When you cultivate and you actually enhance and you, you embed that mindset into your subconscious mind or your conscious mind, your paradigm shifts, your mentality shifts, you walk differently, you talk differently, you act differently, you operate in a different way. So beauty is nothing to you. Wow, you're beautiful. Well done. You won the genetic lottery. Phenomenal. You might be a model. Who cares? What, what else can you offer me? What else can you put on the table? And it's the same for men. This is not me, as I said, putting women down. It's the same for men. You have to earn it. Respect is earned. I cannot respect you purely because you're good looking. I'm sorry. That's not how this is going to operate. I can only respect you what you've accomplished. I can only respect you of the person that you are. I'm walking down the street and you give a few pounds or a few dollars to a homeless man, I commend that. That's admirable. Okay, that gives me an insight of to, as to what kind of a person you are. That is someone that I would like to speak to in terms of a conversation. Cool, you're good looking and you have nice morals. Fantastic. Let's have a conversation. I'd like to get to know you. But just because you're beautiful when you have a nice bum and you have a nice pair of tits and you have nice blue eyes and you have beautiful long hair, it's not going to lure me in. That trick used to work on me and it used to work on many guys and porn was a big reason for that. That's why you're scared to approach women. That's because you put them on a pedestal. You watch beautiful women get absolutely pounded on, on set and then you objectify them and then you see them in real life and you cannot hold a conversation to save your life because you feel as though these girls are alien to you. They're just human. You have to look past their beauty. She's beautiful. Who cares? What else can she offer? This is the mentality shift. And I'm going to end on this point. And it's, some, it's, it's a point that Kevin Samuels made. Rest in peace. He passed away just over a couple of years ago now. And he said something. And it was a short that I watched a very long time ago. And he was absolutely spot on. And he said, the moment he said, and he's talking from personal experience. But what he said was that the moment my life changed, he said, was when I viewed myself differently. He said, when I walked like I was the man, when I talked like I was the man, when I operated like I was the man, I started to attract more women. When he was walking around saying, I'm the man, you're lucky to even have a conversation with me. Forget the beauty. He said, I spoke as if you were lucky to even have a conversation with me. You are even lucky that you're in my vicinity. When you operate in that manner, everything changes because it's all a mentality. It's all a mindset shift. And this is the point that I'm making. It's all a mentality. And as, as I said, the more points that you put on the board, the easier this becomes. But it all starts with the belief system. So hopefully there's things that you can take away from that. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification. 
and I'll see all of you guys for my next video. Peace.